just a straight no chase to the podcast here on the YouTube and the Clubhouse app. We want to say thank you to both audiences for rocking with us because we wouldn't be where we are without you. So we definitely want to say thank you. We try to bring you nothing but premium content for what's going on on the app and what's also going on across the world. We also bring you our own exclusive content where we have a wide range of debates about sports, politics, music, relationships, all of the above. We are here to serve you. So please like, subscribe, and share our YouTube. Hit the bell at the top for notifications on all our latest videos. You are rocking with the best. Remember, there's only one straight no chases. Already created this. Lun Ray created the single deal for us. Was the you know single deal so in place before? The single deal was the song that's out right now. Look, mine did it. I know, but hold on. On hold YouTube, on, was the single deal before you signed the ten year deal? The single deal was after the the fucking ten year deal. Okay, I had, so let me did a ten year deal and it didn't work out. You well, know wait, what I'm saying? Then we created the single deal. Did he release you from contract before the single deal? Yes. So he gave you, your, he gave you your walking papers and said, "Go on and Basically, do what you it was do. not. It really was. It was really was Lun Ray. Lun Ray, the, she controlled all that. Gucci Man on. She controlled that. That's the president of Atlantic Records, the co-president. Lun Ray Galvin, wait, the lady. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down, nephew. Slow down. If you did a deal with Ten Seventeen, right? Yes, sir. Your deals with Ten Seventeen. If Gucci Man wanted to take your distribution to Atlantic Records, that contract's between Atlantic. And Gucci, your business is directly with Gucci, right? So what I'm My asking with is, Atlantic, though, what? No, no, no. That's not, what they're sorry. under. They're under Atlantic. It doesn't. It does. Okay, let me give it to you. Tupac, Tupac signed to Death Row. Death Row had distribution with Interscope, right? Tupac's right. business was with Death Row. Death Row's business was with Interscope. Ain't no moving the nigga out the middle. It, it don't happen like that. I understand. I understand. So this is what I'm just I'm just giving it to you. So what I'm asking you is, did Gucci Mane give you release papers for whatever reason after he signed you in July and August? Did he give you release papers from 1017? Uh Lil Ray handle all that, bro. He okay, but what that, that nephew, that nephew, what I'm doing right up. now is I'm I'm like I'm waking you up. Right? That's all I'm doing. Like everything I'm right. saying is me educating you. What you should do, right, is go talk to your legal beagle, show him your contract with Gucci Man that you did in July and August, and then whatever paperwork that individual said they supposed to have that is released, show him that. Because if he didn't give you up a, a release, right? You still technically 1017. Just because he ain't said nothing about it don't mean he can't do nothing about it. No way. I got a single deal with this man, bro. I'm not. Look, I just listen all my music. A single deal shit. with who? Gucci man. You the just single said deal. you had created a single deal. Years, I'm just. I'm going on what you're telling me. You just yeah. Said. And then I created a single deal. I just told you the first deal was a ten year deal. We got the arguing and shit, and then we had created a single deal. That's so what you happened. never signed the contract for the ten. Yeah, yeah, I signed the ten year deal. Yeah. yeah, but he don't yeah. own like that shit over oh, with. Shit. They canceled that shit and created okay, let me a fucking single deal. Did he bro? give you some money? Hey, yeah, off the single deal. And the, the okay. No, 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 no. When you signed the ten year, ten album, did he give you some money at the time of signing? Yes. Okay. Now you ain't got to tell me how much money he gave you. Yes, okay. Not, so my not. question to you is this: Did you return that money? No. You still in contract? Now I'm gonna tell you what it is. You know, Savvy Third. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Savvy Third did a five album deal with me and Stunner back in 2018. He ain't turned in no albums. He still owes five. Now, Savvy has dropped two, three projects on Empire. We just let it happen. If we want to push a motherfucking button and stop it, we can. But we letting Young and do his thing and find himself. He called me. I love the little nigga like a little nephew. My little nigga crazy in the motherfucker. He do crazy shit, but I ain't going to get in his way. You know, I'm going to let him find his way. And when he ready to come on back, we do what we do. But you got to remember, ain't a dime of our money. We have a ticket out of pocket. Been returned. No albums have been turned in, right? It's been four years. He still owes five. Just because we And he didn't drop three projects, right? We just ain't said nothing. So just because... The project then came out. 
don't mean if Gucci, if you got a signed signature for 10 albums, 10 years, and he gave you a bag, and you ain't returned that money. Money man, man was signed. Money man was signed to Stunner. He wanted out the contract. Stunner gave him a release. Money man gave Stunner back the money he gave him up front. He was free. Understandable. I'm just Un educating look, you, nephew. I ain't talking right. at you. It's I'm talking to you. a single deal, though. It's huh? playing a single deal because they bought that song. You did what I'm saying? Like Who bought it? Gucci no Mane came I in and brought it? They gave me a bag for that one, bro. Okay, you did what I'm now saying? let me so. ask you something. This song, right? Right. Walk with me. Was this song already created prior to you signing yes, Gucci? Yes, yes, I created I started rapping last okay. year. Okay, right? and the reason why I asked you that because that's Tatiana, right? Same Correct. shit. We signed Blueface in July, August, but this song was already done March. Had nothing to do with us. So I had to come in and buy that to make it part of us. That's what he did, though. Right? I know. So that was the. So what I'm saying is because that song, right? And I, what I want you to do right now is see me as your family educating you. I'm the teacher in front of the chalkboard. Yes, sir. The song you're talking about, and I'm just going to throw up my, was done. Prior to July, so let's say it was done in February. Yes. You get with Gucci in July, do a deal for ten albums, ten songs, right? Mm -hmm. They find out about that song that was done in February because right. your contract is only was active in July. They can't claim that song as part of their deal. So what they have to do is a total separate deal as a single deal to buy you out of that song. One has nothing to do with the other. I'm just educating you, nephew. That's all I'm giving you. Free game. Game that your own fucking attorney or management ain't giving you. Ain't right. you. I'm just giving it to you. That's right? why I listen to you, though. So, you know what I'm saying? Gucci, on the other hand, by right, by his own right, is still in control of the 10 albums, 10 years. One, he ain't gave you no release paperwork. Two, his money ain't been returned. So this is how this shit work. You keep saying Atlantic, right? I don't know if you or your management team got a relationship with Atlantic. I don't know if Atlantic is hot on your heels about come do something with us. You get what Atlantic. Really speak on. Well, I can tell you some shit, but I can't really speak no, no, on no. You know this, what I'm saying? Like, listen, nah, it's too public. Listen, no, listen. You go to Atlantic. You tell Atlantic, this is the contract I'm in. Y'all got a relationship with Gucci. I'm going to tell you one thing about Gucci. That man is a businessman. It ain't nothing personal with him. It's business. So Atlantic see that he gave you X amount. They call Gucci. Gucci, we got this young man in front of us. He won't out. Y'all got your problems. You say you don't want to deal with him. Let us run you back your bag. We'll give you an override on the next one or two albums from our side, not his. That's give why they bought the song, though. They sent me the bag for the single deal, though. You did what I'm saying? L listen, listen to me. Just because they sent you a bag don't mean that Gucci ain't signed off on that bag. He just put a letter of direction for them to pay you direct, so he didn't have to pay right about that one. I, do, I know, bro, nigga, I know this shit like a triple beam and a Pyrex. <laughs> I'm the wolf in the in-house. I'm the street nigga that understand that corporate world. Yeah. Right? J just whatever bag you got, for instance, if they sent you 250 right? If I went and got that contract, that contract might say 500 750 He gonna put in there Okay, my deal with him, I'm going to give him a quarter million. Atlantic, y'all pay him direct. I don't want to see that shit come to my account. So I got to be accountable for it. I'm asking him for taxes, all this. You pay, send him his 250 send me my 500 So just because right. you got a direct thing from Atlantic don't mean 1017 didn't give the clearance and the go-ahead to send you that. You by right are signed to Gucci for 10 years, 10 albums. You would have to have somebody buy you out. I don't know what he gave you, right? But I will tell you this. Gucci's a businessman. If you come at him with the right offer, he will let you go. He don't want no nigga around him that don't want to be with him. Respectfully. You got to understand the situation, man. It's like, it's on, I'm just giving you, I'm giving you the business of it. Yeah. And, 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 and the reason being is because a lot of our youth and our, our people, we think that the street aspect of it affects the business of it. 
It don't. Watch this. Gucci man can get hit by a truck. Lord forbid that happened. I love him. He a good dude. Nigga, his wife is going to obtain that contract. She can go to Mars and don't come back. Whoever inherits her shit is going to obtain that contract. That's business. Nigga go to jail, get killed. Nigga go whatever the fuck, be a homeless bummer. As long as there's somebody in line to take control of that, that's what it's going to be. Biggie was killed. They went to Faith Evans. If something was to happen to Faith, Biggie has a son. It's going to keep going. That's all that is. You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling you, right? Right. Right now, if you got somebody that's interested in you, bro, take the time and try to do the business, you know, uh, with Gucci. If they can't get a hold of Gucci, I can reach out to Gucci and tell him, yo, the young man trying to do the business and make it right. If you don't want to fuck with him, they got a bag so he can get up out of there. He a business right. man. And he fair. Gucci know what's going on, bro. If you call Gucci right now and ask him the situation, you'll be like, oh, okay. Well, I'm just going on what you're telling me, bro. I'm telling you your single deal has nothing to do with your 10-year production deal. Two total different things. That's all I'm telling you. No more, two no totally man. different things. Hey, two <laughs> talk. That's what Tatiana, bro. We didn't sign Blueface until July, August 2018. Right. Tatiana was done like February, March. It was already out. I had to so go back. The ones that booted it up. Yeah, I had to go back and buy the song out. Right. And once I bought it out, then that's when you saw me, Cardi B and YGN and Cole Ben and all that right, shit. Right, I right, wasn't right, going right. to put my money and time and effort into that without me being in position with it. That was his shit, free and clear. So I'm just, you know, we couldn't, I couldn't incorporate that with the contract we signed him to in, in July, August. Because the right. song was done prior. That's why I asked you that and I assumed that it was done prior. But, you know, so what you saying is, well, I don't know really what you're saying. It seemed to me like he had a problem with what you had to say about doing shows in Houston. I, you know, I kind of nah, felt what you were saying. That's that's that that bro. That's neither here nor there. You know what I'm saying? Like like I said, I started dealing with Gucci Man in August. You feel me? So me saying that ain't got nothing to do with Gucci Man. Like I keep telling you, we did a ten year deal. They switched that shit up to a single deal, bro. That ten year deal is canceled out. I got paid bro, for that no single deal. That's what I'm telling you, man. Bro, no, unless listen, I, I know Gucci. Like it was a fresh deal, bro. though, gang. It wasn't like it was. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm telling you, bro. I won't be distributing music. So I listen. So the amount of money he man, gave right? you, right? I, like, okay. So look, we ain't gonna talk no real figure. So did the ten year deal uh, money he gave you was it a six figure number? Of course it was. Okay. He ain't giving you that for a motherfucking single deal, bro. It ain't going to transfer over like that. Unless he took 100% control of it and you gave up publishing and all kind of crazy shit. I can't. Right, only, man, what? Right, I'm just telling you. Now, if you want to holler one-on-one, -on -one, we could do that. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just telling you, like, a nigga ain't going to give a nigga deposit on a 10-year situation and then say, all right, but just give me one song and, and we even. That just does it. Nah, it's like you can't, man. You know how this shit go, bro. You can't really talk too man, much. Man, all y'all youngsters, y'all youngsters got to stop talking. And you know, man, nigga, we talking business. I'm just telling you what what you should do is go get your attorney, look at your original contracts, and let him tell you exactly where y'all at. But just me knowing and understanding this shit and breaking it down to you, I just met you, just talked to you, and getting the certain details. I'm kind of letting you know one ain't got nothing to do with the other. And he yeah, would have to that. terminate. He would have to terminate the ten year deal and specify that the ten year deal and the monies and the stipulations that was given for that are terminated and is rolling over to this single deal. And after this, this all he owes me. That will have to be documented. Because I'm gonna tell you something now. You blow up like Drake today. You watch. You, you watch. You watch what that. He's gonna appear like Batman. <laughs> you didn't hear what Easy E said. Dre Day only made Easy's payday. Yeah, yeah. You over there, at Death Row, but nigga, you still signed to me. The royalties coming to East. Man, you won't believe who calling me, bro. Like I said, I can't say too much on him. But I had to talk to you. Yeah, bro. no, I and I, I don't want you to, because once again, 
I got love and respect for Gucci. That man has always been respectful to me. My brother QCP love that man like a brother. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, he cool. And, he yeah, cool. Ain't ain't no wrong with it's only gonna be a conversation. It ain't gonna be no slander on your side behalf. It ain't gonna be no slander at him at all. At least not on my watch. So it's just nah. it's just a conversation. I respect the man too much. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's my favorite rapper besides Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? It's just that we just ain't work out whatever the case may be, bro. Well, you probably it's was being hard headed and didn't want to it's follow the money direction. Situation. You know what I'm saying? It, it was all about money. It wasn't. It wasn't about nothing else. It wasn't no. He treated me wrong, or he did this, that, and third. Like we made good music. Like me and Gucci, good. You know what I'm saying? It's just I didn't understand the part of the money part, the W nine part. If you did what I'm saying, what the W nine part? You did what I'm mm -hmm. saying. Okay. That part I didn't understand. That part. You feel me? That's why I say I had to talk to you one on one on some shit like that. Right. I can't really go into details. But see, all about that understanding this. what should have happened uh, during your negotiations with your legal. You know what I'm saying? He, your Correct. legal, the obligation of getting you to understand is not on Gucci's side; it's on your legal side. Man, I want like and I whoever said, your I management is. Much. Just being real. I'm just, you know, on some real shit. So, you know, I'm going to be real. I ain't never knew Gucci to be selfish or tight with no money. He'd give a nigga a bag. Like, he, he ain't, he don't be tripping like that. You know what I'm saying? He, he ain't. I mean, I mean, bro, like I said, everybody's situation different. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Y'all pretty everybody's sure you did some hard head shit, though, nephew. You know, y'all do. That's what y'all do. And, you know, we, we stubborn niggas at the same time. So, you know, hard head youngsters, stubborn, you know. Oh, but geez. he does shit that he ain't supposed to do, though. It's not just on Devin. Devin ain't do nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. Baby Ratchet didn't do nothing wrong. He probably I didn't. I didn't put our business out. I didn't do that. He doing it now. Nah, he ain't did nothing. He ain't said nothing crazy. He just said he's saying that he was out of contract already. Is what he's saying. What he's saying is when Gucci made his announcement that. Shout out to the artist that was signed and dropped in 24 hours. That's he's unnecessary. Saying, he's saying that he was, he's alleging that he was already out of contract with him and that that was a publicity stunt. I don't know Gucci to do publicity stunts. I know him to do and say some shit that that's just what the fuck it is and that's it. But you know, it's two sides to the story. Right, well, I just told you, I just dealt with this man in July. I shot my video in July. Uh, look, my I did it been out for two months now. Two months and a half. Got so you. How many views on I get picked up and dropped in the same day. That's why I'm saying. Like, I, mean, I, mean, I got to say cheese interview on this. 1.6 million. Oh, okay. 1.6 million views. Got you. That don't happen in a fucking day. Well, it could. 10 million streams. That don't happen in a day. That song been out. Got you. So, I'm no... Man, like I said... So, your, so your, your, issues is, your issue is he alleged that he signed and dropped you in 24 hours. That wasn't the case. You was signed back in July. That's what you're saying. Yes. Okay. All right. There you go. Well, you got a contract, bro. Your contract got your dates anyway. So, you know, you got what you need. But, you know, don't burn no bridge, my nigga. You never know where you got to cross. Nah, we ain't never burning no bridge. I never, that's why I never speak bad on Gucci Man on public stage. I never say F Gucci Man or do any of that. You know what I'm saying? I love Gucci Man. You feel me? Because guess what? He put me in a good position. But you know what? Drop, look, whatever he did, I, whatever he did by him putting that tweet out. I got a bone to pick with Gucci now. Fuck that shit. Hey, Gucci. Look, nigga. I remember before you went to jail, nigga. You was running around here promoting a baller belly. Now, I wasn't into the baller belly, but I did pick up a little belly, nigga. I need them secrets on what the fuck you did, nigga, to get that eight pack. I think I know, but I don't know. And I think I might be on the right track. Just let me know if I'm on the right track because I got my appointment, my nigga. Or uh, did you really, really, really authentically lose that ball of belly? I want to know, my nigga. If so, send me the motherfucking diet plan, man, so I can follow in your footsteps. Welcome to the stage, baby rats. Man, I listen to always, you though, what? You know what I'm saying? You can always pull up, fuck with us. I listen to you, bro. Yeah, come, yeah, come I respect fuck with you, bro. Yeah, come fuck with us. Matter of fact, creep, I need to get in the lab together, man. When y'all was playing that, yeah, that's easy. Cool. I was listening to y'all. Gotcha. Whenever he, uh, shit, you ever come out to LA? Man, that nigga don't need to come out here. That nigga just, I was just get in his Los email. Angeles. Y'all be doing, I was just in Los Angeles on Thanksgiving and all. Um, yeah, whether he out here or not, my nigga just send his email. Shit, nigga, that's all I'm saying. I'm finna, I'm finna, I be know how to use the back channel. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, 
Click like and subscribe to the video and follow us on all social media platforms. Come back daily to see new content or shit we throw up just to keep your day going. Remember, we put out nothing but premium content. The one, the only, straight no chasers.